Well, good morning, wine industry. My name is Wes Hagen. I'm the consulting winemaker and brand ambassador for the Miller Family Wine Company. But right now, uh, I'm coming to you as an AVA petitioner in Santa Barbara County to announce how excited we are that we have received our seventh AVA here in Santa Barbara County. It's the blue lines right in the middle of your screen, the Alisos Canyon AVA. And it is uh, just approved uh, on Tuesday. So we've got just two, two days as our seventh AVA uh, in Santa Barbara County. I wanted to give you just a little information about it. Uh, you can see the other AVAs around it. Santa Maria Valley, where I am right now, it's gonna be significantly cooler. Uh, region one, region 1A on the Winkler scale. Uh, Alisos Canyon is gonna be smack dab in the middle of sort of uh, region two. Santa Rita Hills is gonna be cooler as well. Ballard Canyon is basically equivalent, uh, very similar, so you can expect as Ballard Canyon produces such amazing Rhone-style wines, you can imagine that the Syrah, the Mouved, the Grenache, uh, all of these wonderful grapes, the you know Viognier, Marsan, Roussan, Grenache Blanc, Peak Pool are all going to be fantastic here in Elisa's Canyon, as well as the Cabernet Franc, which is one of my favorites and my wife's favorites. Uh, Happy Canyon is going to be sign significantly warmer. Los Olivos District, most of the regions are going to be a little bit warmer as well than the new Elisa's Canyon. Elisa's Canyon is a, in a larger area of the Los Alamos Valley that has never had an AVA petitioned, although in the future it might. Larger commercial vineyards surround it, but within the Elisa's Canyon AVA, Dovecote, uh, previously Thompson, as well as Nolan Vineyards, uh, Manfred, Crankel, Manfred Crankle's Vineyards uh, for Sinequinon, as well as uh, some areas down in the Kamasa Canyon, which is a southern Clamat, very similar and included within the Elisa's Canyon AVA, with Martian Vineyard, which is now sort of uh, taking on a new role with, with Joey Tensley. So the last thing I want to tell you guys about is this wonderful concept of the Goldilocks Rhone Zone. And if you follow any of the major watersheds out of the Pacific Ocean moving inland into Santa Barbara County, all three watersheds at 24.5 miles, we could call it the Marathon Rhone Zone, um, is exactly where Rhone varieties absolutely do incredibly well. 24 and a half miles down the Santa Maria Valley, uh, uh, the Santa Maria River, you end up at Bien Nacido. Uh, 24.5 miles down the San Antonio Creek Basin, you're gonna get to uh, basically Dovecote, you're gonna get right into the middle of Elisa's Canyon. And if you do it in the San Inez River, you end up right in Ballard Canyon. So how cool that exactly 24 and a half miles down these regions, we have these beautiful places for growing Rhone Varietal wines. That's all I really wanted to share to you. Congratulations to Santa Barbara. Uh, congratulations to Elisa's Canyon uh, on their AVA designation. And uh, we invite you to come down and explore these amazing new regions. Uh, seventh AVA in Santa Barbara. What do you know about it? You should know about it. You should find some wines, drink them, and see just how incredible these wines from Santa Barbara are and what a great value they are. Thanks for watching and uh, have a wonderful day.